Okay, so we're gonna practice our toucan on our paper first, and then we're gonna actually draw it on our, um, our canvas once we're done. So we need to make sure we're using very light pencil marks. So your paper is the same exact size as my paper. So what we're gonna do is in this area, so it's not in the middle towards the top, it's about right here. We're gonna draw an eye. So I'm gonna draw a circle with a circle inside. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna draw a circle around that. Okay, now to the side of the circle. So notice this is the middle of the paper. To the side of the circle, I'm gonna draw a line and a line. So see how it kind of curves like that? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna come to the top of that first line that I drew and I'm gonna bring it to the edge of the paper and I'm gonna kind of curve it down. So it almost touches. Then I'm gonna come to the bottom here and I'm gonna bring it and I'm gonna curve it a little bit so it touches the edge. And that's gonna be his beak because obviously they have very large beaks. Then I'm gonna come back where those two curved lines met and I'm gonna bring them to that point right there. Okay, we're gonna add some detail to the beak later, but we're not gonna worry about that for right now. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out where I want his feet. So his feet are gonna come about right here. So I'm just gonna make a dot cause that's gonna remind me, I have to have room for the branch and I have to have room for the feet, okay? So I'm gonna bring it to about right there. So that's where the feet are about gonna be. So I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna come to the top of the beak and I'm gonna curve my line around and I'm gonna bring it to the point of, about to the point of that line. Then I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna bring this line out and I'm gonna stop it at about the same point, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line to that edge and this is gonna be for my branch. I'm gonna draw a line over here for the branch. So notice they're the same width. And then very quickly, I'm gonna draw the feet. So all the feet are are long ovals, but they're gonna be a little bit wider than my branch. And they're actually touching each other. And if they're not exactly the same size, that's okay. Once I have that part, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of my branch. I can add a little few more details there later on, okay? Now underneath here, I'm going to add the bottom of the bird. So I'm just gonna add that tall feather that hangs there. And then I'm gonna add that white part that goes kind of around the eye. So I'm gonna come back to the top of the beak and I'm gonna make a circular shape that comes like this and then it goes kind of to the front of the belly like that. Okay, so now I have my toucan. So now I'm just gonna add a few other details to my toucan. So remember how we added these curved lines here? We're actually gonna use those curved lines to add a few more details. So I'm gonna leave a little space and I'm going to make a curve line that follows that curve line. And then I'm gonna make another curve line. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space and I'm gonna do that again. And then I'm gonna leave a little bit of a wider space and I'm gonna do it again. Okay, so that gives me one, two, three, four areas. Okay, so now I've got it complete and then we're gonna draw it again.